Iron Man 3 is probably like my yeah, my second favorite Iron Man movie. I'm definitely like it more than Iron Man 2, but not as much as Iron Man 1. Yeah, this is kind of like an interesting time for Marvel. I feel like the first couple of movies of Phase 2 just weren't really as good as, you know, the later ones. And they weren't really as essential. You know, like Iron Man 3 is very much kind of like a self-contained story. There's not really too many tie-ins to the overall Infinity Saga. It's really kind of just its own thing, which is fine. You know, it's just like a fun, you know, action thriller. So I think it's really cool. One of the only things that kind of carries over from Avengers is that Tony's reeling from the events of the Avengers where you know the wormhole opened up and he like he went into it to destroy the Chitauri mothership and now he has like all this PTSD and you know panic attacks from it so you know he kind of like uses that time where he has insomnia to build more Iron Man suits and you know obviously putting a strain on his and Pepper's relationship so it's kind of like he has kind of choose between you know his relationships or between his work and you know that's kind of one of the whole conflicts that he faces and then obviously the main conflict that he has is you know the whole reveal of the Mandarin who Who's like the true leader of the Ten Rings, but kind of like with Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, you know, obviously that's not the real Mandarin. You know, we get like two fake Mandarins. We get Ben Kingsley playing Trevor Slattery, who, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, he turns out to just be an actor, which, you know, was definitely a bummer when I first watched the movie, but then re-watching it now, it's like, okay, now that I know that the twist is coming, you know, it's not as bad. It's still kind of dumb, but still funny. And then we also have that Marvel one shot where Trevor Slattery is taken to prison and then he's interrogated by that Asian who tells him that the real Mandarin's out there, he doesn't want you to use his name. And then, you know, so we get introduced to the real Mandarin in Shang-Chi and Legend of Ten Rings, which is a great movie and a great way to address that. And it's kind of funny that they actually have Trevor Slattery in that movie, but this is about the Infinity Saga, so we'll stick with that. And then we obviously get introduced to the other fake Mandarin, Aldrich Killian, who's like kind of like a disabled science nerd in a way who's trying to tell Tony Stark about, you know, all of his plans and everything like that, but then, you know, Tony just shut him down, and then as the years went on, he kind of tried to seek revenge, clean himself up, he established the AIM program, established the Extremis program, along with Rebecca Hall's character, and, you know, kind of take her work, and then he has fire powers and everything like that. The fun line from Rhodey is like, you breathe fire? Okay, but obviously Tony defeats him as you know he does with all the bad guys. He tries to threaten Pepper Potts with the powers. He tries to inject her with the extremis to have her blown up due to the instability of it. But then she uses that power to defeat Aldridge. She kind of has like the Iron Man arm and fights Aldridge. So it's kind of like a Easter egg to when she becomes rescue in Endgame. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then Tony finally has the surgery to remove the shrapnel from his heart. You know he destroys all of his Iron Man suits. Like half an hour into the movie, you know his mansion gets destroyed. So he kind of just like takes his old arc reactor throws into the ocean and then drives away but you know you can take away his suits you can take away his home you can take away everything but you know in the end he's still iron man so yeah overall it really is just kind of like a self-contained story i mean yeah there's some essential elements to it but there's not really too much going on for the overall mcu but i mean it's still overall fine movie